Hi everyone, welcome back to the IT and Psychology YouTube channel. Today we are going to be starting with our SOP 4 of our SOPs from our Advanced Web Designing Chapter that is our Chapter 3 of IT Science. So before we start I would like to tell you that we have completed the first 3 SOPs of Advanced JavaScript and the previous 8 SOPs that included 7 SOPs from Advanced Web Designing and 1 SOPs from Chapter SEO Search Engine Optimization that included the use of SEO audit tools. So you'll find the links for them in the description, the links for the videos where we have constructed the code and given out the answers for our output. And you'll also find a Google Drive link where you will find the folders where we have worked on the code, the notepad versions, the .html versions will be found and you can access, anyone can access those file, files. You can download them use them on your own PCs and laptop devices and if you do not have laptop and PCs devices you do not need to mind just use the HTML editors that are accessible on both Apple stores and Android stores and that is App, Google Play Store and I'm not sure about uh, iOS devices but I'm sure that Google Play Store has many HTML editors ac uh, accessible for students you can just search and you'll find at least 10 to 15 options for HTML editors. And if you need any preference, contact me on Telegram. I'll just give you the links for the HTML editors. And if you have any doubts that would be covered from the topics in this video or the topics that were covered in previous videos, you can contact me on the same Telegram group for doubts. You can access the group via the link in the description as well. So without further ado, we we'll start out by reading the SOP 4's main question and we'll continue to our folder and we'll construct our code in a blank HTML file. Create event driven JavaScript program for the following. Make use of appropriate variables, JavaScript inbuilt string functions and control structures to accept string from user and reverse the string given string and check whether it is a palindrome or not. So here we have to just make a code where it checks if the word given is a palindrome. So for those who do not know what a palindrome is, Google it and for a simpler meaning, if the word is given as DAD, dad, reverse it, it will mean the same. So dad is a palindrome, the word dad is a palindrome and if you reverse it, it means the same. So any word if reversed means the same or sounds the same is a palindrome. So for now we have understood what a palindrome is. Let's move forward to opening a folder where we'll be working in and creating our blank HTML web page. So our first step here would be right click new text document and rename this to palindrome.html so just change the file, file name extension and we have a blank web page so now open it in a dot uh, html file so now we'll open it in open right click open with a notepad so we'll have a notepad interface of our web page and i'll share the screen to you guys notepad so now we have the notepad output over here so i hope you guys can see the notepad version and now we'll start out by typing in our code so we start out with the basics and like in the previous video as I had said you need to when you are physically writing the code in your paper you need to mention the doc type html tag that we had learned in our first chapter because that is a crucial part of your code and uh, if that is not seen by the teachers they might deduct your marks for that title tag
enter your name input type equals to text name is to t1 and then we add in break lines and input type equals to this is a button for checking so the value for this will be check parameter so we'll add in a name first btn check the button check so then we put in the value for the, this button check palindrome on click equals to chk and this will be the end of our form and the end of our body tag here is the main version that is our script that starts out script type text slash I apologize if you can hear a little background voice because there's some construction going around me so just don't mind it pay attention on the code so then we move forward to our function function chk and then our var k comma s comma i comma ch comma n comma colon for the semicolon a is equals to frm one dot t one dot value semicolon s is to a dot t to lower lower case I apologize if you guys can hear some background noise because this is really an irritating sound over here but this code is very important please pay attention on the code because it is a very crucial code n equals to s dot length and then we add in then is our r equals to 1 semicolon for for i equals to 0 semicolon i is lesser than n by 2 semicolon i plus plus bracket if s dot c h r at 
equals to s dot c h a r a t n one i i then closing of bracket once more and then we open a new curly bracket and add in p equals to o semicolon break semicolon closing our brackets and then and then we add our next line that is if p one Not string is valid drone that is Allen caps here. We close this in else. Alert string is not a valid drone, and uh, this was it for this and. Uh, This was our code closing our HTML tag, and uh, this was our code for our the SOP4 program, JavaScript program. And uh, I'll just show you the output we'll be receiving on our web browser end. And I'll just save it, Control S, and we'll. I'll take you to the folder and we'll open it from there. So we are at the folder. I'll click on it and I'll show you guys the web browser output will be receiving. So now we are at our web browser interface or our web page that we have created our JavaScript program. So now we know that dad dad is a parent room we know that we need to test it on this program so dad so check palindrome string is a palindrome so our javascript program is a success so i'll just take you guys to the notepad version of our web page so that you guys can quickly note down the code and practice it on your own PC or laptop device or your um, Android devices where you can use the HTML editors to practice these programs. So I'll open the notepad. So this is the code that we have made or con constructed as you may. So just note it down for our SOP4 and uh, please like, share and subscribe and if you have any doubts following the topics covered in this video or the topics covered in previous videos, you can contact me on telegram via, via the link given in the description and if you want to see the SOPs that I have typed down uh, on the instant premiere videos, you will find the playlist for th those in the description and a google drive link. Just below it uh, and uh, you can download these SOP files that I have typed down in the .html version and uh, see for yourselves the output on your PC or laptop device or your phones as well, Android phones as well. So thanks for watching.
again i'll say thank you for supporting we have successfully crossed 400 subscribers and uh, our next goal is to reach 500 subscribers by the next month and uh, thanks for watching please take care and stay safe